All right, so now we're moving into layer four, which is the transport layer of the OSI model. And we're gonna talk about what is TCP and what is UDP. So we'll type that in here, TCP versus UDP. So TCP is what is known as the transmission control protocol. And you could think of that as a connection oriented protocol. And we also have UDP, which is the user datagram protocol. And this is a connection less protocol. So when we have these two protocols, one is best suited when it comes to high reliability. That's TCP. TCP is connection oriented. We want to make a connection. We need high reliability. So you can think of something like a website which is HTTP or HTTPS, or you can think of something like SSH or FTP, the file transfer protocol. Those all utilize TCP. When you think about UDP, you might think about something like a streaming service that's connectionless or DNS is connectionless or voice over IP is connectionless. And when this comes into the importance of scanning, scanning is super important. We're going to be scanning both TCP and UDP as a penetration tester. And don't worry about scanning right now. When we get into the scanning section, this will make a lot more sense. But we need to know what TCP and UDP are and define them broadly. So the most commonly, commonly used protocol that you're going to be scanning is going to be TCP. Now TCP works on what is called a three-way handshake. Now if we look at the three-way handshake, it's going to look something like this. We're gonna first send out a SYN packet and then we're going to receive back a SYN ACK packet. And finally, we're going to send an ACK packet. Now, how does this work? Now, you could think of this as an interaction. So let's say you have a friend or a neighbor and you go to your neighbor and you say hello. That's a SYN. Now, SYN ACK is going to be the response. It's going to say, hey, SYN, I acknowledge you. That's your neighbor waving hello back. And then you know you are good to go start a conversation. So that's the acknowledgement. Now, when we think about this in the terms of ports. Now, port is a item that can be open on a machine. It's a way to communicate with certain protocols. For example, if you think about HTTP, that's over port 80. If you think about HTTPS, that's over port 443. There's a lot of different protocols and there are 65,000 plus ports that can utilize these protocols. So everything related here is has to do with these ports. Now let's say that you want to connect to port 443 on a website. You're going to send out a SYN packet to that website. You're going to say, hey, I want to connect to you on port 443. And if 443 is open and available for connection, they're going to say, hey, you can go ahead and connect to me. And when you want to actually establish that connection, you're going to send that acknowledgement packet back. Now let's make more sense of this. Let's go ahead and open up a tool called Wireshark. So this is built into Kali Linux. I'm just gonna type in Wireshark and I'm gonna provide an ampersand here just so I have shell access if I need it in the background. And all I'm going to do is capture packet data. So this is going to be listening in on my NIC and it's gonna say, hey, what's he doing? Let's capture all that data. So we're gonna capture that. I'm gonna start a capture here. You're gonna to start to see a bunch of traffic coming through. You can see the different protocols here. You can see UDPs coming through right now. Uh, but we're going to go establish a TCP connection. So let's go out to the World Wide Web. And I've got Google up. I'm just going to refresh Google. You're going to see a lot of traffic start coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop this right here. Look at all the data packets that get sent when you're using your computer. This is what's going on in the background. You don't even think about it. So we could see some SYN, SYNAX there. Those are in the gray. Let's see if we could find a good one. Okay, so here is one right here. Um, so what we're going to do, actually, let's find a better one. So we're going to come down to here and we're going to say, okay, so here we are. We are our source IP. This is 192.168.57.139. We're going out to destination of 74.125.21.155. We're saying, Hey, I've got this port here. I want to connect to your port. So port 443, this is a web page. We're sending a SYN packet. If that port is open and available for connection and communication, what's going to happen back is that IP address is going to say, hey, here I am. I'll allow you to connect on this port. And if we make that final connection, we're going to go ahead and send the ACK packet back, which is right here. It's going to say ACK. So that is the three-way handshake. 
please do remember this is going to come back into play when we get into scanning and we'll talk about stealth scanning and how we modify the three-way handshake to actually do some scanning. So that is it for this lesson. I will catch you over in the next one.